My name is Veronica Regalado Munoz and I'm the director of the Learning Resource Center. And so I oversee multiple departments here on campus, um, including the library, media services, the Veteran Center, Student Lounge, encompasses a lot of different things, but everything evolves around serving students. And are you from New Mexico originally? I am from New Mexico, born and raised, proudly. I'm from Dexter, which is about 15 miles south of here. So I'm a graduate of Dexter High School. Um, went away to college and then came back here. Who in your life has inspired you as a woman? Um, I would have to say the person who inspires me the most as a woman would be my grandmother and my mother. My grandmother because um, at a very young age, she started taking me to work with her and she would show me phone etiquette, office etiquette, how to manage spaces and that kind of thing. And um, that was something that I was always very interested in is office management. And funny enough, that was kind of the thing that, um, that I've been interested in because she brought me in at a, at a young age. And then um, also since her major at ENMUR was business administration, book, bookkeeping and accounting. And so through my dad's business as well, she would show me some of the accounting, how to use Excel and um, just different office skills. So she's inspired me a lot. Yeah. Would you be willing to share an experience that may be considered a setback or a struggle that you've overcome in your life? Um, one of the setbacks that I did have is after I graduated with my bachelor degree in 09, I graduated a little bit early, so I think I was around 21 then, I went directly into my master degree and I felt like at the time I was way in over my head. Um, I had majored in counseling at that point and I did not have enough life experience and so I did stop out. And whenever I stopped out, I felt like I had so much negative feedback from other people, just like uh, people that I knew from college. And I was told, if you stop now, you're not gonna come back. And they, I was just told multiple times, don't do it, don't do it, don't stop, keep going. And as much as I wanted to, it didn't feel right at the moment because my life experience was not, um, at the same level as my academic experiences. So I felt like I needed to live life a little bit more before continuing on. But thankfully, probably about a year, maybe two years later, I did go back. I did switch majors and found my way again with that. And I did graduate in two, 2014 with my master degree in Christian leadership with an emphasis in urban ministry. So how did your grandma feel about you? My grandmother was super proud of me and excited to see me go back and finish my master degree. Yeah. And she's always been extremely supportive, especially whenever it comes to education. She would always say, I love to learn. I love learning. And I have to say that she definitely did instill that in me as well. So would you be willing to share some advice or piece of wisdom that you would like to give to young women that you wish you would have received as a young um, I wish somebody would have told me it's okay to make mistakes and it's okay not to always be a perfectionist. In my case, I tend to be a perfectionist. Um, and you can't always know everything. Um, you have to learn. <laughs> so the only way is to get that experience is through learning by practicing things. And sometimes along the way you make mistakes while you're learning whatever skill set it is that you're trying to learn. So, and I wish somebody would have coached me a little bit more on that or given me that type of guidance, that it's okay that you're in a learning process, you know. Yeah. I would really encourage women to get more into leadership and have a voice and speak out because I think that we have a lot to bring to the table, um, no matter what field that is in. And I think that women's voices need to be heard more often.